Kurt Davis here with Real Estate Wealth Coaching and I wanted to take you on a tour of a property that I just finished the renovations on here in Memphis. This house is in the Raleigh area in the Scenic Hill subdivision. Super, super awesome neighborhood here. Uh, a lot of homeowners in this area. I was able to pick this property up for I believe $75,000 and my renovation total was right around $14,000, $15,000. The projected resale of this house is going to be around $125,000. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom, brick home, has the two car carport, it's all hardwood floors. Uh, we've really done an incredible job to this house. The nice thing is the bones were very solid, so it was really just trying to enhance what's already here. Uh, we project that this house should rent in and around the 1095 range. Uh, most likely this house will be sold to an out-of-state investor who's looking for Memphis for cash flow. But where this house is located, this is what I would classify right at that B plus, A minus type range if you're, if you're following the grading scale. I know it's all personal opinion, but um, I wanted to show you what this house looks like. And I will put up some before photos uh, in this video as well at the end so that you can see what the house looked like before we did any work. So let's go inside and check it out. All right, so we're coming in off the carport here. This is the back laundry area. Uh, this is the tile, the, the style that we use, the 12 by 24s. It's just a real popular color that you see a lot of people doing these days. We did a new washer box. Uh, this is our gray and white tones uh, that you're going to see throughout the house. We did a lot of new light fixtures, not a big deal. Uh, did all new mini blinds everywhere, but we're coming out the carport. There's storage right here. Uh, you come into the kitchen area. This is a, a good size eating kitchen area. And you know, maybe I should have opened up the blinds, but it's got a great view into the park like backyard. You know, we are coming into the spring time of year. All the trees and the flowers are blooming. Everything's looking really nice. Now, what I did here in the kitchen is the cabinets were in, in fantastic shape. Okay, There's nothing wrong with the cabinets, but I wanted to give them a, a new face look. So we painted the, the lowers a darker color. We painted the uppers white. We did new countertops and we did a backsplash. Um, it is a good sized kitchen, but this is really what, where I wanted to kind of make a statement here. And the renters are going to love this. Investors are going to love this. This house is you know, this is going to make it pop. So we are in the kitchen area here. We're going to move into the, this house does have a formal dining area. It's, it's not large, but this is the formal dining area right here. This house does have a lot of natural hardwood floors throughout. So it's all hardwood floors and tile. So from here, we do have a front sitting area here. It's very good size. This house has two living rooms or two sitting areas. You can see this is the front sitting room and I'll show you the back here in a, in a minute, but this is the front area, good size. We even use the same tile here for the entryway uh, that we did in the kitchen. I have to get a real quick look here now. So this is the back main living area, nice fireplace. We, we, we accented the brick with paint just to make it pop. Uh, has direct access to the kitchen. Again, it's got double sliding doors that go in the back. Now all the bathroom, all the bedrooms and bathrooms are on one side of this house. We come this way. And these bedrooms, these are these are good sized bedrooms. I mean, tall ceilings, very good size. Uh, this house is about 2,000 square feet. Now in the bathroom here, in the bathroom here, we, we painted the base. Did a little bit of trim around the mirror, new light fixtures. Uh, we glazed all the tile, everything in, this, in these bathrooms. And this kind of has a little separate area here, but uh, nothing super exciting, but this is the main hall bathroom. Oh, you all right there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all right, man. Blue, blue burrito. That's all right. Another, I mean, like I said, another. this is uh, bedroom number two. Another large bedroom, and we'll make our way down here to the master, which is the largest bedroom, and it's much larger than the others already. Uh, it's got walk-in closets. Now this bathroom has a stand-up shower in it. It does not have a tub. 
Uh, you know, we got the nice countertops here. We painted the base, we glazed all the tile. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna finish out in the backyard so I can show you what, what the park-like setting looks like. All right, so we're gonna finish up the tour of this property, but I wanted to take you in the backyard because again, it's springtime, flowers are blooming. It's a real park-like setting here. Uh, and it's a large, large size backyard, which will be great for families who have children. Uh, you'll see we've got a little patio over here. It's got the double sliding doors that come off the living room where the fireplace was. Um, and the house is just attractive. It's just got a great look. So I think that we did a great job on the renovation on this property. It's going to appeal to not only investors who are looking for a property like this, but uh, renters are just going to love it as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, make sure you click the subscribe button in the corner, whichever way, I don't know which one it is, but click the subscribe button. If you liked it, leave us a comment, let us know what you think. Uh, we love feedback from our viewers. So uh, we will see you guys in the next rehab video.